Hey, welcome to 209 coach.com. I want to do a video for you today that I that's going to help you to accelerate through the ball without any manipulation of the hands and arms. When you watch any elite swing, you're going to notice that they use their body, their upper body, their lower body beautifully. This produces tremendous power. When you start manipulating your arms, if you start manipulating your hands, you're going to lose a lot of power because you want to use your, your legs, your thighs, your torso, your shoulders to generate power through the ball. So this video right here, I'm going to explain to you what's going on here with this young lady and I'm going to explain to you how important swing plane is. Swing plane is so crucial. Okay, so now... All of you who out there who have been watching my channel for a while know that I advocate mirror work tremendously, okay? And there's a reason for it because, again, as I always tell my students, I always tell my audience on YouTube that if you do not use a mirror, okay, if you are not using a mirror in order for you to gauge your swing or to see if you're improving or if you are doing the drills correctly, you will, you will not know if, if you're just doing it correctly, period. Okay, like I've said before many times, so many of my students that I work with in person, I tell them to execute something, and then I put them in front of the mirror, and it's nothing like I told them to do. Even though they feel like what they were doing was correct, it wasn't. So I put them in front of a mirror, all of a sudden they start making great adjustment, tremendous adjustments, okay? That's why doing these drills in front of a mirror is crucial, okay? Now... I'm going to back this up right here, and this is the drill I want you to do, okay? And this is very important for you to do this very slowly and methodically, again, and do it in front of a mirror. Now, when you're in front of the mirror, all I want you to do pretty much is just get to the place where you're at toe touch, okay? And I'm going to pretty much put her at, at the setup and just as she's going to, just before she gets into her toe touch, okay? Now, watch what's going on right here. As she starts to get into her swing right here, she's starting to, she has her pullback right now. She's getting into her pullback. Now she's starting to engage the lower body. Now, because of the pullback, okay, and this is very important, she's going to allow the bat to work around the corner of her deltoid. But as she's coming down, and when you're doing the, this, mirror, this mirror drill, okay, when you're doing this particular drill, there's a couple of specific areas I want you to look at. As you're getting into your heel plant, as you're getting into your hip rotation, okay, once you get to this point and you're looking in the mirror, what you should see is your bat should be perfectly aligned now with your shoulders and your lead arm and your hands, okay? Again, you want to make sure that your bat, okay, your bat, your shoulders, okay, your lead arm right here at the top of your elbow, and your hands are all lined up together. That's, it's, this is very, very important because, again, this is going to be the beginning of you doing this drill correctly. In other words, what I don't want you to do is when you're in the mirror, I don't want to see the bat way down. Oops, let me erase this thing right here. I don't want to see the bat way down here, okay? This happens a lot of times with players who have too flat of wrists and the shoulders being up here, okay? You don't want two separate planes. This is two separate planes. You got one here and you have one here with a shoulder plane. You want to have your bat plane and your shoulder plane align with your top of your lead elbow and your hands when you're looking in the mirror. This is why it's so important to do it in front of the mirror because if you are not doing this in front of a mirror, there's no way possible that you're going to know whether you're doing this correctly, okay? So basically what I want you to do is just kind of over and over, just over and over, get to that toe touch position and, excuse me, and as you're getting into your heel plant, okay, if you ask you start to rotate your hips, your hands should still be behind your deltoid at this time, okay? They're, your hands should be working around the corner of the deltoid, and you're going to have this beautiful plane. So when you're looking in the mirror, again, you want to have your bat, your shoulder, the top of your elbow, and your hands almost in a perfect line. Now, as you continue to swing, watch what happens. If you're applying the pullback, and if you follow my videos 
on YouTube. And if you apply everything that I talk about, the setup, the gather, the pullback, how to use your lower body and how to coil the hips, how to coil the upper body, this will start to occur naturally. Okay. Now watch how her lead arm, and I talk about this all the time, watch how her lead arm, her lead elbow starts to work up to the height of the mouth. And now you can also see at this stage of the swing how her bat is still in perfect plane with her shoulders and her lead arm. Now, as she starts to approach the ball, as she starts to approach the point of contact, watch what's going on right here. You're going to notice here that the bat is way below the hands, okay? And this is, again, something else I talk about, and I say it for a reason, because this, this does produce consistently, consistency. It produces power. It produces a lot of power. Now, watch right here. As she gets to the point of contact, this is what should occur in your next in the next area of what I want you to look look at when you're looking in the mirror. Your shoulders, your top of your uh, lead elbow, your back should all be pretty much lined up like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be pretty darn close to this. So again, just like I mentioned earlier, as you're getting into heel plant, now you have the shoulder, the shoulder, okay? And you have the top of the back, the top of the elbow, the hands, and the bat all pretty much lined up in one straight line. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. And the reason you want to have this kind of a look is because this right here, if you're doing this, it shows me as a coach that you are using your lower body, your upper body, again, your torso, the back of your shoulder. You're using the big muscles to produce these kind of angles just like this. Watch what's going on as we continue. As she swings through the ball, watch how everything is still in perfect plane. As she continues, everything, everything is in perfect plane right here as she continues to swing. So she's again, she's in perfect plane as she's getting into heel plant, and she's getting into perfect plane as she gets into her point of contact and beyond. So again, as I back this up right here, watch what's going on right here. You're going to see that as she gets into her swing, and I'll go ahead and erase this, back to, to reiterate, as you're starting to get into your swing, you want to make sure that your bat, okay, is in line with your shoulder plane. Everything's lined up perfectly, like I just mentioned. As you continue to swing, when you look in the mirror, and as you get into the point of contact, again, you're doing this slowly and methodically. You should look in the mirror, and if you were to draw a line or put a piece of tape, on your mirror, just like this, with a straight line going across like this, everything, okay? The shoulder, the, the lead arm, the hands, and the bat should be pretty darn close to a straight line. And this, again, will allow you to hit with tremendous, tremendous power. Now, this ball right here she hit, look, at, look how low it is and what she's having to do. She's t this is for another video, but she's tilting her body beautifully so she doesn't have to manipulate her hands or arms in order for she to hit this ball. In other words, what happens, and maybe if you record your child, if you record some of your students, at this stage of the swing, what occurs usually is the body is more kind of in an upright position like this instead of how you see how she kind of has a tilt like this okay and what happens are standing more upright this lead elbow falls down here the forearm is kind of right here and then the bat is kind of doing this little uh, little move where it's just kind of slapping at the ball in other words it's all hands and wrists and no upper body lower body power and you can see here with her swing she does a beautiful job of keeping everything in a beautiful orbit right there, hitting to and through the ball, and therefore allowing her, even on a pitch like this, not even getting a good pitch to hit a home run. She hit this right, this ball right here was a beautiful home run that she hit. Now watch how long she keeps the barrel below the hands. She does this, and again, keeping the barrel below the hands, it's going to allow you to hit to and through the ball much longer. It's going to allow you to stay in the strike zone much longer. Now, to give you this swing from a different angle. Now, this is the same swing on opposite side batter's box view, pretty close to opposite side batter's box view. 
Watch right here. She's at toe touch. Watch what happens here. As she starts to get into heel plant, this is the area where I'm telling you, and you can't tell from direct off the side batter spots here. This is why knowing camera angles, trying to get your students or child's go on the outfield if you can and try to get a close-up of from the pitcher's view to see if your player is doing this correctly or when you're doing soft toss, just do have the player do it slowly and methodically. That way you'll know if all these angles I'm referring to, they're doing it correctly. So watch what's going on right here. Just like I mentioned, as she gets into uh, her heel plant, she's pulling back. She's maintaining the pullback. Watch how the bat is working around the corner of her deltoid. At this stage of the swing, just like I mentioned, her bat is in perfect alignment with her shoulders, with her lead arm. And watch how, what's going on here with the bat. Watch how tremendous bat speed she's getting by using the big muscles just like I mentioned right now watch what's going on right here the lead elbow starts to work up to the height of the mouth like I always mention and this is why I bring it up so much because if it's not working up to the height of the mouth your elbow is going to be working below your chest and your hands are going to be too low and again just like I always talk about you're going to kind of have like a merry-go-round swing where you're kind of slapping at it okay you don't want to slap at it you want to hit two and through the ball and the only way you're going to do this is if you apply what I'm telling you to do it's going to help you to hit the ball with tremendous tremendous power because you're going to be using the big muscles you're going to be using the muscles that were meant for hitting a baseball hitting a softball correctly and not using the small muscles therefore giving you a lot of weak flare shots now watch what's going on right here barrel below the hands and everything look at this watch what's going on this is beautiful right here what she's doing in her swing right here see how the barrels below the hands right here so many times I see players the wrists are flipping through the ball at this stage of the swing therefore already leaving the strike zone and not giving you an opportunity to stay with off speed hot off speed pitches now watch what's going on right here look at this this is just tremendous right here again what I would highly recommend for you to do just to reiterate, all I want you to do is look in the mirror. Okay, again, you want to be making sure you do something in front of the mirror. As you get it to heel plant, I just want to make sure that when you're looking in the mirror, just like I just mentioned earlier, you want to have your bat, your shoulder, your elbow, your hands pretty much all in one in one plane. Okay, it's not going to be like I mentioned earlier. It's not going to be one plane here, one plane there, or your bat doing something weird like that, like I see a lot when I'm working with new students. And then as you continue, you're going to make sure that as you're getting into the point of contact, you're going to look in the mirror. All right, look in the mirror or parents check your child by standing in front of them. And this is another way if you don't have a mirror in front of you when you're at a motel or hotel while you're tra playing travel ball or whatever, watch your child and you can see if they are, have a single plane like this, okay? This is a single plane. What would not be a single plane, again, where the lead elbow, the arms are down here and the bat is kind of doing something like this and the shoulder plane is up here. The shoulder plane is up here. This is the plane you want. You don't want to drop your hands down. You want the lead elbow working up to the height of the mouth. And again, once you have this beautiful plane like this, this is going to show me that you are starting to understand how to use your big muscles. Again, exaggerate the barrel below the hands. This is a must in order to get your body to start hitting to and through the ball. Let the lead elbow work up to the height of the mouth. Hit to and through the ball. Now, I hope you give me a like in this video and please subscribe to my channel. Watch my other channels. This will make a lot more sense to you if you watch my channels, my channel regarding the setup and how to use your body correctly to achieve these kind of elite angles. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.